Hello, beautiful bag lovers. Oh, my, oh, my. Hey everyone, it's Trina. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna go over a few goodies that I got recently from Etsy and uh, show you a few things I got on my first outing into the real world in this post lockdown situation. Not that this town I'm living in was ever on a lockdown situation. Uh, we have had relatively few cases of COVID-19, I think a total of 17 in the prefecture in which I live. So very small numbers indeed, but that doesn't mean that my life has not been turned upside down by this thing as everybody else is here who is watching this. Okay, where to start? There's a lot of goodies on my table here. Okay, first off, I think I'll tell you about these two Etsy shoulder straps that I got. One with silver hardware, one with gold. They're essentially the same thing. And they're a little bit thicker and clunkier than I thought they were gonna be, but they'll do the job. Um, as you can see here, um, I'll put a close up. As you can see here, the backs are a little bit inconsistent. The gold version is a lot more finished whereas the silver version has this indentation in it. And what am I gonna use these bag straps for? Well, first is for this um, dupe bag I got on AliExpress, this Chanel dupe bag. The straps are too short, so I'm gonna take one apart. And I'm still waiting on a couple of little pieces that I ordered from Etsy as well to fill in the blanks and basically serve as an attachment between this piece and the bag chain. I could put it on indirectly, but I'd like the option of being able to detach it. And I think it'll look better with this particular piece that I'm waiting on. And I'll also link to where I got these straps from as well. So overall, I'd say this is um, average quality. It's very good for the price. But what I'm really excited to share with you today is a couple of bag straps I got from M Craft Leather, which is a brand that I'm familiar with because I have purchased from them before. I bought um, a strap for my the Eva Clutch from uh, Louis Vuitton. I got a, a replacement strap because when I bought mine, it didn't come with the strap. And also I'm, I'm tall guys, so the straps have to be tall. So I made this one, I got this one of 52 inches, which for this bag is okay because it has that extra piece on the end. And this strap, you guys, the quality here, I mean, they focus on, uh, replacement straps for Louis Vuitton specifically, as well as maybe a few others. They do uh, the Keta leather, and this one is obviously in the Damia color. And to me, you know, these are just as good as the real McCoy. The finishing is fantastic. These are quality straps, so I can't say enough good things about them. So, so much that, you know, I went out and bought two more straps from the company. To me, luxury is, is more than just uh, the fancy brands and the good quality. Uh, the bespoke element should be there too. You should be allowed to customize your things. And that is what this company does. They, they make the strap lengths for your needs. So I paid about $10 US more to have this one lengthened and I got two of them. Two black straps, the same as the previous brown one I showed you, one with gold hardware and one with uh, silver hardware and they are 54 inches. So I did have to, yes, pay a little bit more, but 54 inches, what is that in centimeters? I'll write it here. Uh, that's a really good length for me for small uh, bags. And that's mostly what I wear is small crossbody bags. And usually when bags I buy do come with straps, they are too, um, short basically usually you can buy straps that are adjustable but when they're adjustable two things first of all they're never long it's rare that they are adjustable to the length that i need which is longer than most and b it gives a clunkiness to the look of the bag in my opinion so if you know what works for you then get the strap that fits you perfectly is what i say so these guys do and as you can see from the close-ups down here the quality is so good, the finishing is good. They they thin out the leather at the end and they bind them with whatever silicone coating on the side and stamp them with their own mark. This is just beautiful. And I can share with you also a comparison to a Louis Vuitton strap that I have for another bag. It's a very small bag. This was actually a bag for my Montagne. Whoops my Montagne clutch um, that I recently changed out with the new strap. It's perfect for it. And this little guy here is just way too short. I rarely use this for anything. And it's also too long to serve as a, a shoulder part for chains on the end. A lot of the time I've been using this uh, Chanel type leather strap with chain. It's 
very Chanel-esque. I got this from Moto or Malto, and I also recommend this company. Um, but this is a little dressy, and um, this this strap here, this leather strap, really kind of dresses down the bag A, and B makes it a lot more comfortable to wear. And I switched this out as soon as I got these straps last week, and I've been enjoying uh, wearing this bag a lot more frequently than in the past. Uh, due to these comfortable straps. So bonus. I also have uh, I've shared this with you before but from Kcraft I have this chain uh, This is I don't know the exact same length. I'll put it in the description box But it's a very long chain that I replaced with their chain on the other bag I didn't I don't think I showed you this on this bag yet. Oh, maybe I have but in any case, I've, I've ditched the previous chain on this because it was too short and also a bit heavy. This is much lighter and longer and until recently I was rocking this bag a lot. I had it for the past month and I was just putting it into my bigger satchels and then when I was in the car and had to run errands, um, I would just take this little guy with me and it's been great. It's only recently that I've switched out to this one. Another strap that I bought from uh, Etsy from Kcraft this time around was a, um, another uh, Rolo style chain that I can wear again with this guy here. And in fact, I already had one, but it was too short. So I decided, oh, you know, I'm gonna go back and get this customized to my desired length. And it's a little bit long because I wanna be able to use it with other bags too. Because again, on the Eva clutch, you do have that extra piece here, but it's fine. It works just fine. Better too long than too short for me. Too short is just not flattering. And I'm going to sell the other um, strap that I had that was too short. Um, the other strap was about 130 centimeters, so not particularly long. This is probably 137, I think, in centimeters. Yeah, I think it is actually. Um, Kcraft does not charge a lot. They are a brand that sell, I think, through eBay as well as through Etsy. Um, I think this was around $15. It wasn't pricey, really good. However, these, um, these leather straps, they are a little bit more expensive. I think I paid about 70 US dollars each. So um, not a cheap item for compared to other Etsy items, but compared to Louis Vuitton, much cheaper. And also Louis Vuitton doesn't even make straps that accommodate my needs. So <clears throat> M-Craft leather, you rock. Okay, so what else have I been doing? Recently I went out shopping and I'm, I don't mean grocery shopping. Beyond that, I haven't really been shopping in the past few months. Um, until recently, I went to bring in my Celine bag to the leather worker and I got my hair cut and uh, I got my nails, I wouldn't say my nails done because I don't really do nails, I just got them, you know, attended to. And I also went to do some shopping and it was really interesting for me to be out and see these protocols in practice that I'd never experienced. You know, at the nail salon, for example, I had to um, sign, I had to take my temperature and to get everything alcoholized down and it was very um, medical. And yeah, I, I kind of appreciated that. I thought that was good safety protocol. Also at Starbucks, this was really annoying, but I bought a recycled cup and I thought, oh, I'll just, not a, not a recycled cup, you know, those use me, what are they called? eco-friendly, it's not a thermos, but it's a cup that you can reuse. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Anyway, I bought one of those and I went to use it uh, the next day at because I was back at Starbucks and uh, they wouldn't let me do it because of the coronavirus. They said, no, sorry, no, we, we won't do recycled or reusable cups. You have to uh, just take our paper ones. So I did and I, I didn't even think about that, you know? Going out and about in these times is different. Maybe all of you have experienced it before. Uh, I went to my local, um, there's only a couple of like department stores where I live in the downtown area. They're pretty small, pretty local, but I did get some footage of some bags and I'll show them to you now. But before I do that, I have to show you guys, I bought another bag strap yet again. This one is a guitar strap and it just gave me Gucci vibes. And I couldn't say no, it's pretty loud, but uh, I like it. <laughs> what do you think? And there are some other ones there that I really enjoyed too. So I'm gonna end this video now. Oh no, I'm not gonna end this video now. 
While I was out, I also did a little bit of perfume shopping because I'm a frag hag in addition to a bag hag, as I've suggested to you more than once, I believe. And I might be doing a little more perfume reviews on this channel. I was thinking about starting a new channel, but, oh, that's thunder out there, rainy season. Um, I don't know you guys, would you be interested in looking or hearing about perfumes from me because I'm sure happy to talk about them. In any case, I have three new perfumes here, 10 milliliter roll-ons or sprays. The first one here is a classic that I've always uh, purchased in the past in the, for the hot weather is uh, Verveine. Verveine is basically a citrus aromatic. It's very lemony but a little grassy. It's very refreshing, very strong. It cuts through the sweaty stickiness. And when you have a very humid climate, you need something like this. And you, unfortunately, I'm more, I'm less of a freshy and floral and more of a heavy spicy uh, scent type of gal, which is unfortunate because I do live in a hot climate. So I can't enjoy those really rich fragrances as much, especially in the summertime, it, it would kill people, be too cloying. But this one is like the whole lemon tree, <laughs> not the fruit itself, but like the whole, the branches, the stems. There's some geranium, I think, and maybe rose at the bottom. But it's, it's crisp, it's fresh, it's bright, and that will get you through the summer. So there's that, and that's really good to carry in your bag as well, really small. And another one that I've tried for the first time is uh, uh, Té Verte. Or thé vert, and this is obviously green tea, and this is a reformulation of theirs. So this one is also a roll-on, and this one is very is very smooth. There's definitely some orange at the top, maybe bitter orange. I think it's grounded by some woods of some sort, maybe some maybe sandalwood. I'm not sure, but and maybe musk. And the green tea is definitely there, but it, it doesn't bite you. It's not overwhelming. You have to sort of search for it a bit. And it's definitely not the bitter green Japanese tea variety. It's more of a, more of a Western type of tea, I think. It's gentle. It doesn't scream, but it's definitely there. And there might be some jasmine in here too. It, it's really pretty. It's really light and refreshing. Uh, nothing, nothing offensive about this. Um, Japanese culture is not one for perfume. I can't get away with wearing a lot of my crazy ouds and stuff like that because I'd, I'd scare people, I think. This is very, very unoffensive, very pretty. So there's that. And the third one that I got is uh, Herbae, I think in French, what it would be called. I don't know in English, Herbae. Herbae. This is a weird one. I decided to go off the beaten path here. I generally do not like um, florals. I'm not that type of girl. I like the weird stuff. This is this is weird. This is like, oh, that's just a little weird. I think a lot of people would find this too sour, green, and bitter. It's, it's very aromatic. There's nettle, sage, there's some biting herbs in here. Grass. There is blackberry though. It's very grainy. But it's fresh and wet and, and barky. It's interesting and it's nice to have something interesting. It hats off to um, L'Occitane en Provence for pulling this one off. It's a little weird though. I don't think I like it as much as the other two, but I wanted to try something different this summer. So I decided to get this. And if we get if other people like it too, then I'll continue to wear it. Okay, so that is it for the parfum d'aujourd'hui. Et on va finir avec d'autres choses avant de partir. So, I'm going to end this video now and show you around the stores. Bag Hag, signing out. Mwah.